So welcome to Techno Day at Life where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we're going to be installing FileZilla, which is a cross-platform FTP program so we can quickly and easily transfer programs. So it's a very quick and fast video today. And if you like this video, make sure you like it. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified of future videos. And here we go now. Today we're going to install FileZilla, which is a cross-platform FTP client. So first in this box up here, we're going to type FileZilla. And we're going to click on the JLessage FileZilla. First, we're going to click Info. That brings up the Info page. We're going to scroll down to the main things that we're going to use. We're going to add in a few extra things. Now we're going to press Start to load that. Once that's done, click Close. Uh, next, we're going to click on FileZilla and Run Image. So file container name is FileZilla. Restart policy is always. Leave it in bridge mode. We're going to put 5800 for 5800. Hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to put in our PID and our UID. And so our UID, if you don't know that already, you just go to shell in the box, login, and then type ID and your username. And for me, my user ID is 1000. Our group ID is 100. And we're going to hit the plus sign on each one of those. And we're going to change the display width to make it bigger for our screen. So we're going to do height 1280 and then the width 1920. Then hit the plus sign on those. Next we're going to type in new mask. Then we're going to type in 000. Hit the plus sign. And so the UMask will make it so all our files are read and writable by anybody who uses the FTP client. Uh, this might not be a good thing if you leave it open to the public. And if that's the case, uh, what you would want to do is put 022 and then hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to type in time zone and type in our time zone, which for me is America, New York, and then hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to scroll down to container path, hit slash and config. And we're going to go to our app data folder and we're going to make a new folder. Call that FileZilla. And then you can close that. And then we're going to go to Host Path. Go to Shared Folders, App Data, FileZilla. OK. Hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to hit Slash again and go to Storage. And so this is going to be our media. So hit the Shared Folders, Media. And then OK. okay and then hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to hit save. And so then we're going to copy our IP address. Paste that and then uh, backspace colon 5800. Hit enter. And now we're into FileZilla. And so here, uh, basically, it's super easy to use. So basically, all we need to do all we need is our host name, our, so our host IP address, then our username and password and what port we're connecting on, quick connect, and then we can easily transfer files back and forth. And one easy thing is if you click on edit, there is a network configuration wizard, which is great for helping to figure out the network, and then you just follow along on the prompts. And so that's it today. So very quick and easy FileZilla. So 
how to set up your files or transfer your files quickly and easily. And if you like this video today, make sure you like it. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell button. And you have a beautiful day and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.